Hey everyone, Yanni plays here. Welcome back to another episode of Forever Stranded. So at the end of the last episode, we were trying to get that book, the engineer's manual. I actually went back to the city, was looking around forever to find it. I could not find it. And then I realized all we need is just a book and a lever and we can craft this book. Then another thing that I was struggling forever and ever and wasted probably another mm, good two hours or so on it was the whole getting obsidian. I was throwing... see if we still see it. I think I got it all out. Oh, there's still seared stone in here. I was throwing cobblestone in here hoping that it would make obsidian but of course it does not make obsidian. I mean... Why would a torch melt stone to obsidian, but your big smeltery over here is not, so... And I even went in here and was pulling up obsidian. And I was looking at this picture for quite a while. And I went outside, I poured lava out, and I poured my water over it, I made my obsidian block, and I tried to go and get my pickaxe. As I realized that this one here is not making a pickaxe anymore. Because to get a pickaxe I actually need the diamond ingots. And to get the diamond ingots we need the creeper oyster. Now in the meantime I think I got some creeper oyster. Yeah I got two of them. They are actually not that hard to get. But that was another thing that I did not figure out immediately on how to get those. All you have to do is you have to find a creeper and you have to shear them. And then you're going to get a creeper oyster. And those creepers after that are pretty much like pets. They just follow you around. Actually if I have shears on me I can go ahead and get a third one. So that we would have enough for a diamond pick. However. I then realized that all I have to do to get obsidian is you need to get the regular buckets you don't need to get the fired ones i think i have it in here no that's also regular bucket you cannot do it with your ex needle bucket but if you just have a regular bucket you fill it with water and then you put the water buckets in you put the lava buckets in bomb you're getting your block of obsidian and then, of course, you can drop the obsidian in here to cast your obsidian stuff. And that's where we're at right now, trying to cast everything. But before we do that, let's go ahead and look into our quest book. See what all we completed. See where we're standing. In our basic survival, we still need to make those cooling coals. But now that we have the diamonds we can actually make those cooling cores now that we have the diamond shards, I should say. So we're going to get those done here in the next two minutes because I'm sick of dying in this heat all the time. Over here, we have our uh, engineer book and now we're getting into the next quest line. One would be the obsidian tools. That is what we're going to complete next as soon as we cool down a bit and then blast coke. I am able to make the coke brick, that is not that hard to make, but for the blast brick, we need more nether brick, and I still don't know where I can get more nether brick from. Then we opened up a new quest line, the technological, technological revolution, and for that we're gonna have to build a few different items here. Uh, the light engineering block will be the next one. But if I remember, I'm going to need quite a lot of iron for that. And creating life. That's also another one that I would like to complete today is we need 64 seeds. I was slowly grinding to get more seeds here and there. I've also started to expand my field here. Put more of my dirt down so that I can plant more and more rice for another quest line. And since we're already out here, let's take a quick peek down into our uh, dirt production. As you can see, I am starting to produce dirt. So when I'm just around here in my base, I'm going to have growing cacti and that is going to produce dirt. And of course, at night, I'm still walking around here 
trying to lure all of them into my little traps here so that we can get loot that we can get more of the rotten flesh and the rotten flesh we are turning into dirt as well but without talking any longer let's get those cooling coils done and here are my two cooling coils oh i am so glad that i got them so let's see what we need can we just plop them down and it is cooling Oh, do I have to activate them somehow? I mean, up here it tells me they will need to be placed in a room with a door. Otherwise, they're not gonna work. And all we have to do is we have to turn them on. Because, of course, it would make sense as you turn them on and off, so... They are now going to cool me down, so that is beautiful. But let's focus on this task here really quick because we don't need much. We need a tool rod, a shovel head, and a pickaxe head. And what all do we have? We have a tool rod. So let's actually I need you over here. Change over to the obsidian. So let's get one tool rod or two. One tool rod, a shovel head and a pickaxe head. And if I remember correctly, all I have to do is flip over to the bronze again where's the brass it's the brass you know since brass is already selected let's Take the shovel out and put one of you in. Or you flip over to the obsidian. We don't have enough obsidian. Oh, let's finish this pouring. And we got our better tools completed. So what comes next? Iron toolkit. We have our 64 seeds, so that means that we can finally get our chicken. So we have a chicken spawn egg. Now so we can start working towards other tasks. And here is our chicken. Wonderful. I uh, haven't haven't gotten the hopper yet, but that will come eventually. And then we're gonna have more than plenty of chickens over there. Now leather. We can make leather with rabbit hide. 
there any other way? Steak to leather, cooked chicken to leather, fish, mutton. So pretty much all of our food we can make to leather. Now if we look in here, where is the rabbit? So for the rabbit I just need 5 golden carrots. For some reason my crops now start dying. And I did not have that issue before. I don't know what changed. And we got our second chicken. And we had some eggs and actually had one egg. And I was able to spawn a second chicken. So now I can breed up chickens. And then finally start eating some meat. I tried it again with the carrots. And I bone mealed a lot of them. Uh, so that I can get enough carrots so that I can make the golden carrots. But I'm wondering if I need to enclose that to uh, pretty much create a little greenhouse. So I'm gonna keep an eye on that and see if that is gonna be what I need to do. And another quest completed. So I got that rabbit spawn egg and oh the pig oh for the pig I needed the golden nuggets and here is our little baby rabbit and a pig now I don't know yet how I'm going to get more of them at least we have some so to progress more, we actually need a rubber tree and the only way that we can get rubber seed is if we work with dirt or compressed dirt. So that means let's compress some dirt. We have more grass seed. But no rubber tree. I'm wondering what that is over there. I was heading out to get some cactus. And found this one here. Let's get closer and see if we can find any of the materials that we are looking for. Oh. I don't think that I have any torches with me. Any down here. I'm sure there is some good loot down there. I just don't think that I can make it down there. Oh, 
Okay, that is not good. <laughs> so there is a very good chance that we're not going to be able to recover all of that. need to be able to block off that A, I cannot fall down anymore. Oh, and of course we also have a witch down there. It's gonna take a while. That is for sure. But we're gonna get there. Now, should I risk it to jump down here? Where did you come from? Hold on. <laughs> It turned night time. It turned night time, so they came from the top. to get everybody over here. I see a lot of mob spawners here. Well, a lot. I see one. Let's put it this way. There's water over there. That's a big question. Is it is it worth it to go through and investigate? I'm not just going to die. There's a chest down there.
have to say, so far the loot is kinda crummy in here. The loot is not worth the trouble that we have down here. So let's just disappear. And that is also where I am going to end this episode here. Thank you very much for watching and I hope I see you in my next episode. Thank you and goodbye.